All right then. Uh, seems like a pretty appropriate max as of right now of starting the program, which is what we recommend people do. Is All right, boys and girls. Stole that from Zach. So welcome to the next training block, the start of the training block. I'll be honest with you, I'm feeling pretty enthusiastic. I'm feeling pretty excited. Um, feels good. It's not what I was getting from my agent right now. So as I mentioned in the last video, I am 100% will be back to weightlifting. And without a doubt, I will be back getting coaching by Anton. At the moment, I'm just gonna coach myself uh, for a variety of reasons. One, just gonna be a bit kind of dynamic with training some sessions, uh, doing kind of different things. I have a couple of main things I wanna do, but if some days I feel like doing a snatch, you know, I'll just do a little bit of snatching. Uh, I also want to run some of our programs and so that's the point of one of today's videos. This is the first session I'm going to be running the sub 180 RTA. I know my values will be higher I'm not really sure exactly what a 1 RM would be at the moment uh, The most I've done is like 200 kilos without any shoes or belt or anything, you know, for pretty handy So today I'm going to test my 1 RM going to put the value in and then we're going to do the first session which is multiple sets of 10s and I genuinely don't know if my legs are able. First, I'm going to do some hang power cleans, uh, a little bit of jerks maybe, and then we'll get on to the, the squats. So I'm going to run the RTA through, and I'll document a few sessions and let you guys see. Of course, I will document week four, day two, uh, just to prove to you guys that it is very doable. As a lot of you know, literally thousands of you know, week four, day two is doable. So let's get into it. All right then, uh, 200 seems like a pretty appropriate max as of right now of starting the program, which is what we recommend people do is do what you can do like this minute. Like when you start that program, pick a max that is a realistic representation. And for me, it's 200. I'll be running the sub 180 with the 200 because it's a bit more aggressive with the progressions. Will I add more weight a little bit as the weeks go on? <laughs> we'll see. 
Uh, but first up is 4 by 10 at 130. So uh, as a man who usually loves high rep squats, this should be fine. But as a man who hasn't really been squatting in months, this will be, I feel like this will be venomous, vindictive watching for a lot of you who have run the Road to Anywhere squat program. I feel like you're going to get a lot out of this and uh, 4 by 10 at 130. I'm going to be doing a little bit of different assistance work, uh, some adductor stuff, but my calf is, uh, it's tracking kind of funny, so it's kind of kind of numb. It flared up again because somebody hooked me a few weeks ago, but uh, I just need to make sure my external rotation is nice and loose and I just need to work on this a little bit. So a little bit of different assistance work and I'm doing some upper body stuff. So let's go. <clears throat> Welcome to day two of the new training block. Today we're doing day one of Sika Pull. <clears throat> now, unlike the squat, I have a pretty good idea of what my deadlift is because I've been training it very consistently with Anton, loves pulls, and it's not a great idea like the squats to go up and do a heavy single and then and a drop down to the sets is pretty fatiguing, uh, especially with a heavy deadlift. But I know my max is 240. Well, it's the heaviest thing I've pulled recently, and I've been doing a lot of pulls, and my pull has been very, very strong. So 240 is a good representation of what my max is. I think my heaviest ever deadlift weighs 280 with a hook grip. I've done 270 by five sumo. That doesn't count for anything, obviously. So we go week one, seek a pull, the deadlift program, putting in 240. We've got five by six at 132 kilos. So week one, session one. So there's penny rows, good mornings, bell squats, side plank, and V-ups. So today, obviously I'll be doing a little bit different assistance work because I'm trying to you know, change things up a little bit. So I'm gonna warm up with some behind the neck push press, move on to the deadlift. Then I will be doing some weighted pull-ups, weighted pull-ups, weighted push-ups, and some core work. So that should be a nice little session. I'm gonna do the deadlifts, uh, double overhand, no hook grip for a while, uh, barefoot, um, because I like deadlifts barefoot, and double overhand, because I want to train the grip as well, as it's quite useful, and these are quite light for it, and I'll probably put on straps, but uh, it's a useful, so I'll do a first set or two without the straps and just double over and no hook grip. Uh, so it'll be a good session, get some core, get some pump. Uh, very little bit of, not tendonitis, but a lot of inflammation on here. Just on full extension overhead, I'm doing a lot of mobility, but I need to do a bit more. Uh, voodoo floss it today and felt a lot better after, but I just need to do it a bit more frequently. It's been like that for like two or three months and I've been ignoring it. And surprisingly enough, it hasn't gone away. 
which is a shock to everyone involved, I think. But there you go. So I need to do a bit of that uh, behind my push press. Uh, not too heavy, just like maybe four or five sets of three. So let's get into it and see how it goes. Today was actually supposed to be open mat, but because I was busy at work, boss was driving me crazy, you know, but seriously, I was busy at work, so missed open mat. So I'm here for uh, this session. I was gonna give it a break between day one of the pull and the squat, but uh, not a big deal. Deadlift felt quite good. So I did some no hook, then some hook grip, then some straps, just to keep it, keep my body guessing, keep the muscles confused. So, um, obviously no hook grip feels terrible. Hook grip feels really strong, but then starts to cut the hands a little bit. Obviously nothing now, but uh, it is noticeable, but does feel good. Push press, so it's really, this is quite sore in extension. And I just need to use it more in extension and just a bit more soft tissue work here. But 
uh, just feeling out the push presses. Trying to maintain this upper back position. Try not to lean forward like this in the dip and try not to flex forward like this in the bottom of the dip. So I'm trying to keep that pretty flat upper back and neck position and then dip and drive and then not change it as I get into that overhead position. So try and keep that pretty consistent. Try and keep a relatively straight wrist in the dip and drive position. Try and keep this straight underneath the barbell. Uh, hip width stance, maybe a little bit wider. Uh, and then nice deep dip, because when you're doing behind the neck stuff, you want to get quite a deep dip. So utilize your legs as much as possible. Uh, so I think I did like six or seven sets of five at like 60 kilos, just to warm it up, because I haven't had a whole lot of bars overhead back grip for a while. So I need to fix this a little bit and practice that movement. And then we'll get into some split jerks. I might suss out a little block stuff, maybe. I might see if I can figure them out somewhere. Um, but quite good. Deadlifts felt nice. Upper body, so I did weighted push-ups and rear delt flies, and now I'm gonna finish with some V-ups and side planks, but I'm gonna start my dinner and my kefir grains and my kombucha scoby is here. So if I die of food poisoning, thank you so much for your support in the recent video. I appreciate it. you still be entertained. I'm, uh, I'm definitely big on the squat now, big on the deadlift. Big on the power clean, probably going to keep doing some full cleans, uh, the jerks from the rack and then maybe a little bit of snatching every now and then. Going to do lots of mobility, so I didn't talk about that in the last video. So I'm going to stay as mobile as possible for weightlifting, for Jiu Jitsu, so it feels good. Hopefully keep away some aches and pains uh, and it's very important for speed to be as mobile as possible. So I will be keeping those up and trying to stay flexy, stay sexy. Um, so, what's on the list? So, day one of Seeker Pull done. Nice and handy. Um, you'd know you did it though. You'd know you did six sets of five. Or was it five sets of six? Five sets of six. I did five sets of six. I think there's 12 in the second session. And then five by eights on the next session of the squat program. Torture. Who wrote these programs? So, they, that's up next. Enjoying the sessions. Feeling nice. It's like, it's such a different way of training. It's not like, Oh my god, I have to do six doubles, I'm gonna do it. And I love that way too, you know? Uh, but I'm loving this now, I'm enjoying this, this is good. So, get this done. And no gi tomorrow night. Friday, probably open man as well. So hopefully three sessions as you get this week. And Saturday, it's either I'm gonna do squat and pull on Saturday. I'll probably do squat and pull because the twelves are very light. They're like at 100 kilos, so it's like three or four by 12, I think. I'll probably do those together after the five by eight. But I'll see how I'm feeling because I, like I like training multiple days in a row. So I might leave it for the second day. That's what I'll probably do actually. So I'm probably gonna upload these reasonably frequently, at least once a week, but I'll probably do two a week for a while uh, and see how it's progressing. I will see how the weights are feeling and fill out the muscles a little bit. So uh, thanks for watching guys. And I do appreciate that everyone can appreciate where I'm coming from in the last video. Uh, because part of the reason, you know, I didn't want to say or I was apprehensive about saying not snatch clean jerk is because as as much as we'd like to think we are not one thing, you know, it is part of my identity and certainly part of a business and certainly part of uh, the social media. And so saying what people, a lot of people watch for, you're not doing exactly what they came for, you know. It is easy to be somewhat apprehensive about it, but ultimately we have to do what we're supposed to do. So thanks for the support. Portugal camp is full up. Uh, I think we've everyone sorted. So it's great to see that. Probably gonna do a strength and conditioning one at some point you know, for athletes in the off season uh, and not just weightlifters this time. Uh, so hopefully people are, are, hopefully this camp goes well. I'm very pale at the moment, so I will be getting as much vitamin D. Uh, I haven't worn sunscreen in years, randomly. I've gone super off topic now, but uh, I will be getting a tan as much as possible. And getting nuked, jacked and tan. Thanks for watching, guys.